Hey, it's Silver Searcher back. Um, today I took a road trip over to Illinois. I had a couple of boxes of silver I wanted to do something with uh, that I've gone through. And I thought I'll just take a road trip and get them out of my district and take them over to Illinois to get them in their district. And um, while I was at one of the uh, banks, I stopped in and asked if they had any half dollars. They had several rolls from Brinks. So I bought them, and I found a 1967 40%er. That was kind of cool. And then the last place I went to, um, they used Loomis. And I have a box of half dollars, and he said he had a sealed box. So I just traded with him. Um, it was pretty neat. The uh, teller uh, also was a collector. He said that he used to, when they had a coin machine, he said he would go through it, and he would find two or three coins a week. But they got rid of the machine. They found out it just wasn't in their best interest to have the machine. So he looks for the um, silver certificates now and says he found a few. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go through these uh, halves from Loomis. Uh, I have said before I wasn't a big fan of Loomis. I haven't done real well with them. But I'm hoping maybe by some chance the Illinois Loomis are different than the Indiana Loomis. Uh, we'll find out. I'll let you know if I find anything. Well, there's no silver on the ends, so we'll tear into them and maybe we'll find something. Okay, I've gone through all of them, but I did find one today and I didn't think I would. See what I got there? 1964, 90%er, cool beans. It was like the uh, third or fourth row. I was hoping I'd find another. But I've gone through Loomis and I have found one in the Loomis. I didn't think I would. Alright, I'll catch you next time.